All right, everyone, today I wanted to show off the new wood burner addition I've added to my CNC. This is just a uh, typical wood burner that I think I picked up at the hardware store. I've mounted it on a plate, and that plate has wheels on it, and the wheels are mounted onto this piece of aluminum extrusion. Um, I've also added a spring onto the plate to give it some uh, pressure to make sure that the wood burner is always in the down position, but it still gives it some play. The reason I did this is because with wood, there's always peaks and there's always valleys in the wood. And since your wood burner always needs to be in contact with the wood, um, if you go across a valley, then your wood burner won't touch that valley in the wood and it'll either be a, a light mark or no mark at all. And if your wood burner goes over a peak, it'll gouge out the wood or it'll create a really, really dark spot. Um, so to fix this problem, I created this, which allows the wood burner to go in the Z axis direction, has a little bit of play there, but not in the X and the Y direction. It's, it's very sturdy that way. This wood burner also came with a temperature control. And for the purposes of my tests, I'm planning on leaving the temperature at uh, max. And the reason I did that is because I plan on controlling the, uh, the darkness or the lightness of my, my wood burning lines with the feed rate of the CNC. I didn't want to change two variables at once. So for the purposes of these tests, the, the temperature is maxed out and I'm going to be changing the feed rate. I also installed a female receptacle on top of the machine so I can quickly remove my new wood burning apparatus and install the good old fashioned router every time I want to cut something out. So with that being said, let's see what the results are whenever I try this thing out. Now that the job's finished running, we can look at our results. The bottom burn was done at 20 inches per minute. The middle was done at 10 inches per minute. And the far one was done at five inches per minute. And as you can see here, I feel that the 20 inches per minute is just a little too light. So I'm not gonna use that in the future. The 10 inches per minute looks not too bad. It's a lighter color. And the five inches per minute is by far the darker one. Um, I think going on in the future, I will use 10 inches per minute every time I want a light burn and 5 inches per minute feed speed every time I want a dark burn in the wood. Um, and the good thing was I think 5 inches per minute is about as slow as I want to try to go because it looked like it might smolder into a fire if I go any slower than that. So the test was successful and I know what settings to use on my CNC whenever I want to make uh, certain types of lines.